Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Kripe Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to make uh, steam. And we're not going to do it using uh, clouds or, or fog or any of the volumetric effects you think we're going to use. What we're going to do is use our particle emitter and some lights. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and drop a particle emitter into our scene. And let's do some stuff here. Let's go ahead and change the shape to objects because we're going to use our lights. Uh, let's change our emission cube just slightly. 3 by 2. And we do this because uh, the focal point on the camera is going to help shape our uh, mission cube, not so much like a cube. Uh, lifetime's cool for what we're doing. All this is cool. Um, let's go ahead and generate particles before start. Click in the middle here and go 0, 1 and we're good. Uh, that's all good. Now uh, let's go ahead and work on our shape. Since the shape is objects, let's go ahead and add lights and we're good to go. You can't really see right there but you're good to go. And let's go ahead and turn our gravity off. This minus 10 uh, is going to start bringing our objects back down at the apex. It really doesn't matter since we're generating particles before start but if you do an animation it's going to be really noticeable. So let's go ahead and uh, just punch zero and we're good to go with that. Now let's go ahead and focus on our light. Push zero and change our light into a bulb. And we're good to go. Let's go ahead and go in our particle emitter. And here's our particles. Here's Let's go ahead and change this to mesh too so we can see what's going on. See how, uh, see how our, our light bulbs are all kind of cl uh, clumped together? Let's go ahead and push S and then shrink them down a little bit. And that's good. That is fine. Go ahead and focus on that. And just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and drop a sphere into our scene so that we can kind of see what's going on as far as the way our fog, our steam is going to affect our uh, objects in our scene. So let's go ahead and put that behind there and let's check it out. Let's render and yikes. What happened here is we have uh, 200 particles give or take uh, give or take 50 150 to 250 particles in the scene because we have a second's worth of particles. And uh, all 200, or whatever, 200 of those are um, emitting light. Now, you can, do, you can do a couple of different things. You can um, affect the brightness if you want to. You can affect the range, the range fall off. But what we want to do is go up here to the top and restrict lighting to all out objects except, or you could just do a simple click, pow. Now let's render nothing which is cool because uh, we didn't really want anything in there anyway let's go ahead and throw another bulb in there to give us some light perfect now um, we don't really want the lights for our particle particle emitter what we want is the effects that the lights can generate so let's go ahead and click these up and go down to our light effects and let's click glow and yikes see how that is now uh, there's only two sliders here there's the glow size and the intensity we can go ahead and crank these down to five apiece now let's look at it steamy huh and uh, that's pretty much your, that's pretty much your steam but if you want to take it a little bit further what you can do is uh, Let's go ahead and give this thing a backdrop. Let's uh, make a color and let's make that color a kind of warm color. Let's look at our steam on that. Now you see how the, uh, well, it's actually kind of good, but the steam when it goes against the background, what you can do is, uh, is change the color a little bit. Since water is refractive, um, what's going to happen if you put whatever your colors are in the scene uh, let's go ahead and do a gradient uh, uh, 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine right there. Okay. You can, uh, yeah, we don't need that sphere anymore. You see how that looks? What you can do uh, to kind of help it blend in a little bit is uh, pick a color. If you have a, a warm scene or a cool scene, since water is refractive, uh, you're going to want to probably throw a little bit of color in there to kind of uh, hide the fact you're using an effect. And that's a little more, it, it looks like it absorbs the light a little more. Something else you can do. You can uh, duplicate that light and then make it a different color, a lighter or a darker color. We'll just go ahead and make that red so that we can see it. And see how it mixes in there. If that was a gray, it would look like that there's density in the, in the uh, steam. One, one other thing you can do too is you can go to the effects and uh, let's go ahead and make our glow size 10. Keep the intensity where it's at. Now see that before and after. See how much, how much more steam you got? Play around with it a little bit. It, it's actually a pretty cool trick. Now, the whole reason that I did this is so that we can, uh, so I can kind of show you that uh, a lot of people think that Carrera's effects are kind of cheesy and not really what they want, but I beg to differ. Um, I think it's a matter of getting creative with what you want to do, okay? Uh, Carrera can do whatever you want it to do. Uh, sometimes you just got to dig to do it. So, um, let me go ahead and one other thing here. Um, this is an example that I made uh, using all the all those all those things and you notice how steamy it looks and uh, yeah it's it's really good. It, it also works good as a volumetric um, fog if you want. So yeah think outside the box sometimes you'll find some good stuff. That's it for this time. I'm Kreitman and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.